market is a community activity and it's dependent upon the uh, folks in the community coming out and enjoying each other and uh, the presence of the vendors. I um, have enjoyed doing this with Amy. It started really with um, uh, an interest in aquaponics and um, having, building the solarium off the house and you know, kind of dabbling in it, having fish and growing some vegetables for ourselves. And, um, and then it's just grown to now where we have this, this big facility that um, Pat has put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears and money in, too. And then the farmer's market is an extension of that. And the lettuce and the um, vegetables that we grow through the aquaponics piece, is, that's one piece of it. But the, the farmer's market is really the way to distribute that and the way to kind of meet up with other people who are doing the same thing around local food. Every farmer's market that they've had this season, I've been there. So. Uh, there is a little bit more of a community type feel to this market. I think there's a void in the whole local food movement of, you know, fresh fish, fresh seafood. And so for me, I only eat pretty much local, so I don't eat a whole lot of fish. And so, uh, but to see people like Pat doing uh, aquaponics and others is encouraging. What did we get at the farmer's market today? Yeah. Fenugreek. Cheese. Some parsnips, a dozen eggs, pita chips, some tzatziki. Picked up my lunch, picked up some bread, some um, sprouts, some jams, um, some lotions. And we got a lot of fluid. Pretty good market for us, pretty good uh, way to get our produce to people. And we have about 12 drop-offs and people sign up in the beginning of the season, you know, you pay for your subscription and every week or every other week depending on when you sign up or you get a bushel of vegetables. Our main business of course is building homes and condos, but because the economy, uh, we're building uh, furniture like doll beds, cradles, we build a lot of picture frames. We have a small farm, so we sell winter squash, fresh eggs, a lot of cheeses. I have um, handcrafted soaps, I've got sugar scrubs, and I have lotions. This is one of the better winter markets uh, around. I like the fact that there is so much uh, produce, the trust local foods, things like that. A lot of winter markets are more just crafts and things like that. What we want to do is avoid uh, too many artisans. The argument is that uh, winter farmers markets, they go from consumable vendors to artisans, which is fine, but it's really about the consumables. I really think it's a wonderful social event and um, just a lot of fun to see what people have brought to the event. The music is usually great. That's pretty cool they have a band because then the people who is selling the product, they actually will be bored. That's true. And last time I was here they had kids. It was like a recital. There were piano kids and violin kids and things like that. The room sounds great. The room's great. Uh, nice, nice big space, and so people milling around, you know, um, going into various vendors, and it was really an honor for us just to kind of add to that atmosphere and the easy background music on a Saturday morning. It was really, really nice. It's good music, and when you're playing it well, and you've got good rhythm, people, uh, people really. You know, you kind of want to move and do something, like buy vegetables.
This is my first time here, and uh, we were delighted to come in here and see all of the people and the market set up and the, uh, the amount of different uh, things that we could purchase here. So we set up in the corner, and we got about five of us together that play music uh, now and then together. And um, then, of course, uh, we have a fiddle player today to join us. But as the people mingled through the room and, and bought various things from the farmer's market, so they heard this music, and uh, a lot of them stuck around and, and listened. It was really a joyous occasion. That's my job for the farmer's market is to arrange for the music because we think that having music is a really um, nice addition to the farmer's market. I call it practice because people aren't listening to all your notes. They won't know your mistakes or anything and people like to do that. People are connecting and so one musician may say, well, you want to play in my group for this or they're networking. They're doing a lot of networking, which is kind of cool. Hey there. This is the pulled pork right there. That's pulled pork also. And this is our slow smoke beef brisket right here. MMB stands for Mildred, Mary, and Betty. Mildred was our late mom. Betty and I are sisters. And so it's two generations learning everything from Mildred. Yeah, she started us when we were very young, smoking meat. Did I want to learn? No. Am I glad I learned now? Absolutely. <laughs> Most of the vendors that I know, you know, are very friendly and I'm a hugger and so I'm hugging them and they're hugging me and things of that nature. Uh, I think it's a very friendly market and again, I don't think you, I think that what you put into something is always what you're going to get out of it. We've been here uh, for the last three years and uh, we haven't missed a, uh, a winter farmer's market here uh, since that and we just love it. It's a nice community, homey, friendly. Uh, financially too. I'm a wholesale distributor of small farm products and, and small uh, artisans and we only handle products within eastern Wisconsin direct from the farm so while the farmer is out busy producing this quality food we're out uh, getting sure that there's making sure there's a market there. I am a vendor here and I've been growing my own herbs um, for several years and I dry them and blend them and I grow them all so, you know, it's just fun to make the different blends of teas. Everyone values the same thing. They're, they're all valuing uh, getting back to the earth, doing it naturally, organically, the organically raised eggs, um, the cheeses over there, the meats, it's awesome. And everybody just wants to find out more about what everyone else is doing and, and getting together. It puts me in closer touch with the people who are producing the food. So even if they're not strictly certified organic, USDA organic. I know that if they're using chemicals and herbicides, they're doing it more um, more carefully. And so I, I know that my food is probably going to be um, better for me, but mo most important to me, it's going to be produced at a lower impact to the soil and the water. It all starts with the soil. Trying to make more sustainable methods by putting more into the soil than taking out of it. And so one of my kids, if they would ever take over the farm, which I doubt they will at this point, but if they did, they're going to find the soil in much better, better shape than what I found. This takes you in like a hundred different directions. So, you know, really thinking about local food, but then you think about farmers and you think about, um, and then you think about how the zoning and how zoning, you know, has an impact on um, whether farmers can continue to farm. Uh, then you look at climate and then you, it just goes in about a thousand different directions. You know, I think a lot of people think that you can't grow vegetables in the winter and you can. There is nothing as good as the winter carrots and greens, spinach. It's the sweetest, the sweetest spinach you'll ever eat is the, the spinach in the winter. Uh, today was the first day that uh, Port Fish brought its lettuce uh, product down and um, it just disappeared. Uh, next time we'll have more and time after that we'll have more. Um, I know that he's um, trying something new um, on the lettuce. He had a sample, um, giving people samples and it was pretty good. That's part of our marketing plan is uh, the Winter Farmers Market. We have two other segments of the marketing plan. 
One has to do with serving one or two chefs who we can grow for. And the third uh, aspect of the marketing plan is uh, identifying a, a vulnerable food population. But uh, we would need to get a grant to uh, satisfy that. But uh, with some grant money, we would attempt to identify vulnerable food populations within Ozaki County. Uh, in particular, uh, single family, uh, single parent families. You meet like so many interesting people at these vendor fairs. Like, just start if you just start talking to them. Like, they'll tell you like everything about them, their stories. It's really interesting. Like, I've met so many people through this and gotten my name out. So it actually works out for me too. I asked Pat Wilburn if he needed um, a photographer because I saw him taking pictures one day and I was like, do you need a photographer to take pictures? And he's like, yes, I do. And so that's how it started. He thinks big. Like that's the first thing I realized about him. Like he thinks of the bigger picture. He is probably the most persistent person I know. He, he gets an idea and I mean he takes it to the very end. And so that is exactly how he's worked on this. He, d he bought a boat years ago. I mean, this boat was, it's a, like 46 foot steel. And it was completely torn apart. And it really, people looked at it and thought, that boat is, you know, ready to be thrown out, junked. And um, he bought the thing. And I was, I have to say, I was a little like, <coughs> well, it wasn't exactly the boat that I thought I wanted. And so he completely rebuilt the boat. And it took him probably four or five years. And he was persistent. And, and that is exactly how, like I say, he approaches this. It's just, when I'm ready to quit, when I'm like, haven't we, you know, haven't we kind of gotten to the end of this thing? He's like, ready for the next step. Uh, the market today was a very good day. We enjoyed it thoroughly and uh, all the vendors enjoyed it as well. Typically, we get uh, short bursts of uh, people coming through, but today it was uh, continuous. Oh, I love the winter market. I love it. I love being able to get uh, locally grown foods in the middle of winter. It's wonderful. Plus, you know what you're eating. Whatever they're doing here, they're doing it right. I think it's, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, the church has been very uh, generous in uh, giving us the space. And um, we look forward to uh, the next several markets.